What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video we're discussing about IC, which is pretty much a new Cydia alternative, which is like Cilio or like Installer 5, but this one is coming from a different developer who is pretty much Articus HG in here, and he pretty much announced here on Reddit jailbreak, quote, IC Installer 3.2, if you're remembering the previous two releases, don't. This one is a game changer, plus AMA. In which he goes to talk about IC Installer 3, which is pretty much a new Cydia alternative that is created to compete with Cydia and Cilio and Installer 5. Now, of course, the features are similar to this. Now, you get the iOS 11 inspired uh, user interface. I don't have a photo with the user interface, but you got the idea. They're pretty much the same at this point. So, I have mixed feelings about this thing, and we're going to talk about them. But the most important part of this new and shiny IC installer, which is pretty much a CD alternative, is pretty much the claim that it doesn't use apt, which is pretty much a component in CD and Cilio. So, without using apt, this means that it's no longer requiring apps to be a thing on iOS and doesn't require any updates to apps in order to function and so on, which makes it to work with rootless jailbreaks. Now, this is a very important point. The rootless jailbreaks. What the hell is a rootless jailbreak? Well, we've pretty much seen one from Jake James and that kind of rootless jailbreak is a jailbreak that would work normally. You would have access to, you know, the system. You would be able to pawn the kernel and, you know, escape sandbox and do stuff, but you wouldn't have access to the root file system. So everything you can do, you can only do in your user folders. So naturally, the Electra wasn't a rootless jailbreak. Electra did have a rootfs remount, which was based on a bug discovered by Umang in here and exploited by pawn to own But if you remember, there were a lot of problems before this was a thing. There were arguments that Electra would come or it would come without a root of remount and only a few tweaks would work, only an emony would work and so on. So the problem with the root FS was actually a real thing back in June. And the fact that this developer in here promises that IC installer will be of course compatible with rootless jailbreak means that we're going to get an installer that is capable of installing packages and tweaks without having to you know get concerned with a root of S remount which seems to become increasingly hard to create because of course older methods to remount the root file system that were used up until iOS 11.3 are now no longer working starting with iOS 11.3 and iOS 11.3.1 so we have to find new tricks. Now this trick in here worked but of course this will not stay working forever so we need to think for the future and the IC installer in here seems to address that and that makes it a little bit different compared to Cilio and Installer 5. But there is also another caveat with all these installers that are popping up lately and Soric has addressed this very very well. If you take a look at the article in here called competition versus community he talks about Cydia as a business for him he talks about Cydia as a passion and he also talks about how all this you know installer that are popping up are pretty much hurting Cydia and him in the long run because Cydia for him is not just a passion has also become a job and in order to keep Cydia working it had to become a job because it took him a lot of time to create and of course it takes him a lot of time to maintain. Now you probably know that Sorik has been gone for quite a while since January. Now some of you do not know the reason, some of you do. He had a few arguments with Coolstar, he had a few arguments with other individuals so he pretty much decided to go a little bit dark. He stopped updating his stuff like Cydia and the Substrate and so on back in January when of course he did not deliver on a promise he made, a jailbreak that he promised he would release, but that of course coincides with the moment when Coolstar stepped in and created his Electra jailbreak. So these guys do not work very well together and there have been beefs in the past between Jay Freeman aka Sorik and Coolstar and other individuals. So yes, Sorik is gone for the moment but there are reasons to that and of course we're still dependent on Cydia and Sorik still watches from the background, I'm pretty sure about that. And all these installers that are popping up are pretty much hurting Cydia which indirectly are also hurting Sorik. So yes, I really hope that IC installer will become a 
thing and I really hope that the rootless jailbreaks will get to have an installer that is adapted that is created to work with the idea of rootless where you have less permissions so you have to pretty much change the way a jailbreak works but at the same time maintain the way you know the user feels the jailbreak and the way the user experiences the jailbreak but for the moment I am a bit skeptical about the usefulness of these installers because of course we have Silio, we have CDM, we have this IC installer, we have installer 5 and probably tomorrow there will be one more that will pop up and don't get me wrong that's not a bad thing but it hurts Cydia in the first place and they never come to the fruition or they remain just side projects which Cydia wasn't. So yeah tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about all these installers, what do you think about Cydia, should Cydia be updated, should we switch to different installers like you know Silio and so on. Tell me in the comment section down below. I'm Geo Snow and till the next time, peace out.